This video is going to review electric power in the electric power equation. On the screen is the example that the book gives us to solve for electric power. Note that electric power is given to us as the equation P equals I times V, where P stands for power, I is current, and V is volts. As you can see in the example, when we find the value for power, it's going to be amperes times volts, which equals watts. So in the example, it says the current in a clothes dryer is 15 amps when it's plugged into a 200 volt outlet. How much electric power does the clothes dryer use? So what we know in the problem is that the clothes dryer is going to pull a total of 15 amps of current and that the voltage difference on that line is 240, which is typical for a clothes dryer because it's double the voltage of a regular outlet. Regular outlets have a voltage of 120 volts. What you do is find for P. We use our equation P equals I times V, plug our numbers in, and we find out the value is 3,600 watts or 3.6 kilowatts. So let's look at an example problem. A toaster oven is plugged into an outlet where the voltage difference is 120 volts. How much power does the toaster oven use if the current in the oven is 10 amps? So the problem is asking us how much power. We're going to use the equation power equals current times voltage. Plug our values in. The current is 10 amps times 120 volts, which is standard for United States outlets. And we find that the answer is 1,200. And it's amps times volts, so that's going to be watts. And we also know that 1,200 watts is 1 1.2 kilowatts, because we divide by 1,000, moving our decimal point over three decimal places to left. Let's try one more example. A VCR that is not playing still uses 10 watts of power. What is the current in the VCR if it is plugged into a 128 volt? Let's review what we know. We know that the power being used by the VCR is 10 watts. We know that the voltage is 120 volts. What we don't know is the current. If we briefly look at our equation power equals I times V, we can easily plug in our numbers. We don't know I, but we do know the voltage is 120, standard voltage for United States outlets. And the power was 10 watts. Using a little bit of algebra, we can take both sides and divide it by 120 volts. 120 volts on the right side cancels out. 10 divided by 120 is, is 83 thousandths. And our units there would be amps for current. Now this makes sense because you would figure an electronic device that is not fully powered up would have a very low amperage.